All right, guys, we're in this patient's left knee. This is an NBA basketball player who's been experiencing medial joint line tenderness uh, for the last few months. Uh, this is the uh, medial femoral condyle here, uh, and below us is the medial tibial plateau. This is the anterior horn of the medial meniscus, which extends around into the body of the medial meniscus here, which you can see is torn. The tear extends around from the body into the posterior horn of the medial meniscus, and here you can see this large flap of unstable meniscal tissue just adjacent to the posterior root uh, of the medial meniscus, and that's a, a clear source of this patient's symptomatology. I would say that this is in the white zone of the medial meniscus, so an attempted repair here of this uh, torn tissue uh, is likely to fail. So in cases like this, uh, we're going to do a partial medial meniscectomy and resect this torn tissue uh, debriding it back down to a stable rim. So this is our shaver, 3-5 shaver, coming into the medial compartment of the knee here. We use our suction and just gently hover over this torn bit of meniscus here, and then slowly slide it around the back, trying to avoid the cartilage. And just trim out this little bit of torn meniscus tissue. So here's a quick look at our final product, again, anterior horn of the meniscus here, and we've just trimmed out the torn bit of the body and around into the horn for a nice stable edge there of the meniscus, uh, preserving as much of the substance of the meniscus as we, as we can and avoiding any atrogenic injury to the cartilage surfaces. So that's a uh, small partial medial meniscectomy. So you'll be weight bearing is tolerated immediately after this should be back playing in about three weeks or so.